So here what I would like to show is systematically assign attributes based on a grid to stopes of varying sizes. So in this case, I just made up some uh, stopes of different sizes. So here we have uh, stopes that's 30 by 40 by 100. And then the next door we have 30 by 55 by 100. And then we have 30 by 40 by 100. And if I look this one, it's 40 by 40 by 100. So they are all of different sizes. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to assign the uh, attributes uh, in a sequential way based on geometry. So what I did here is I'll just go to top view, slice view. And then what I did is based on this, I created a grid. As you can see, the white transparent uh, uh, blocks here. So if I turn on, uh, okay, I'll just use the slice view. Uh, and then I created uh, the grid with attributes. So I used easting and sec, so sequence basically. The sequence is the number of the order of that particular block in the same uh, easting. So for example, here, I start from the top all the way down. So here I have a sec number one in that 100 easting. So this, I have number three. So this will be number two, so on and so forth. So for example, here, looking at this particular stope, this fella. So this stope sits on four blocks. Uh, on the grid. So what I did is I used this formula called nearest attribute. What it does is it's looking for the nearest entity closest to the center of gravity of my, my stope solids on this grid layer and then fetch the grid ID, which is basically my work plaque I want to use and assign as a work plaque to the stope. And then here I set the maximum distance uh, to my stope from uh, my grid is 100 feet. Uh, so here I use 2D distance and then here's what we got. So if you look at this one, so it's looking for uh, a square or a block on the grid layer that is closest to the center of gravity. In this case, the center of gravity uh, sits in the largest square here. So the center of gravity is here. So it's finding, it's looking for a square so that the matching square uh, on the grid layer will be this one. And then it was assigned the grid ID, which is basically using easting and the sec, uh, add it together to get a grid ID and assign that grid ID to this stope. So as you can see, work plaque 0124. If we look at another example, uh, for example, if I look at this one, oh, that's a similar one. So if I look at this one, the center of gravity would, of this stope would be uh, somewhere here. So the closest one to that would be uh, this square. So if I look at it, its grid ID is 370. Uh, if I look at this, uh, stope is 370. There you have it.